Did you know that when your vehicle is equipped with memory seats, it can remember the position of your driver's seat, memory power adjustable pedals, steering column, and power mirrors too? Let me explain. Depending on your vehicle, you may be able to set up two or three different memory position settings for individual drivers. If your vehicle is configured for two preset positions like this, you'll need to turn your car on and move the driver's seat, pedals, steering column, and side view mirrors to where you want them. Next, press and hold the set button until you hear a single chime. Then press the preset number you want to save your settings to. One, for example, until you hear another single chime. That's how you'll know your positions have been saved. After that, you can recall the saved positions with one touch of a memory button. To link your key fob to recall a saved memory position with the two preset option, press and hold the memory button for about three seconds until you hear a single chime. Then press the lock button on the key fob remote control, and you're done. If your vehicle is configured for three preset positions like this, you'll need to turn your car on and move the driver's seat and other memory features to the desired positions. To save your memory preset position, simply press and hold a preset number for about three seconds until you hear a chime to save the position. You can also link your key fob to recall a saved memory position with this configuration. Hold the memory button on the door control pad for about five seconds until you hear two chimes, and then press the lock button on the key fob. Keep in mind, using this key fob to unlock the vehicle will also recall the saved memory positions. And for either memory seat configuration, if you touch any driver seat adjustment control or memory button during a recall, it will cancel that memory recall. One more thing, an available easy entry and exit feature automatically moves the driver seat back and, depending on vehicle, the steering column up or up and in when the ignition is turned off, allowing for more legroom for easy entry or exit. And when you switch the ignition on, they'll automatically return to the previous position. To enable or disable, using your five-way steering wheel controls, go to Settings, Vehicle, Easy Entry, then hit OK to enable or disable. Any questions? Go to owner.ford.com.